There we go. Wirelessly connected. Hello folks, welcome to the NetCruiser Tech. It's been a while since we did a video like this in the office, but I want to show you a tech product that was sent in for review. And we're going to eventually go to my car to test it because this is tech for a car. Wireless CarPlay Adapter. If you have a modern car, usually a 2016 or newer car that supports Apple CarPlay, this device will allow you to plug into the USB port and then wirelessly keep your phone, your iPhone, connected to your car wirelessly. One of the problems that CarPlay has is that you're always connected by the lightning cable and it tends to be a little bit of a finicky connection sometimes. I've gone through probably four or five cables in my car over the past few years. This might be a solution for that. You can just keep your phone in your pocket and you're going to connect through wireless, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. So this provides seamless communication for a stable and uninterrupted CarPlay experience. Automatic connection every time you get in your car. You get free updates, one year worldwide warranty, and here is the full setup instructions. We will go to the car and test this, actual performance testing. There are some firmware updates that you can do on it that would require internet access. There's a QR code if you want and some troubleshooting instructions. Now the pricing on this, according to their website, is $160 Canadian, which would put it around 120 US. Uh, if you can find it on sale, it might be cheaper. If it's not on sale, it might be a little bit more, but that's the kind of the average price for these is around $120 US for a wireless CarPlay adapter. User manual, car OEM wired CarPlay to wireless CarPlay. Dongle itself is a little bit bigger than I might ideally like. Um, I would prefer if it was half this size, a quarter of this size really, where you can just plug it in and just have a little itty bitty dongle, but there's probably quite a bit of technology going on in here. Also, if you do want to retain wired functionality, it does have that pass-through ability where you can still plug it in. It's quite light. It has a little bit of protective covering on it that uh, we'll take off here. Gloss black. Um, constructive criticism. Gloss black inside cars is a modern trend, but it's not something that anyone likes. And so this will get really scratched up easily. It'll show dust super easily. Uh, in most cases, you're going to want to just plug it in, hide it away, because any kind of touching or having this exposed, it's going to look gross pretty quick. Supports iPhone 6 and above, iOS 10, and newer required, and it go, just goes through the whole connection process. So we'll take it out to the car. How does it perform in the car? Hey, welcome to my 2018 Golf R. Now, normally how I would do this, I would get in the car, I would start the car, and I would immediately need to plug in my phone to the wired connection. So this is my CarPlay port right here. And I always have to have a lightning cable, or if you have a Android, you would use a micro USB or USB-C. But this device is for CarPlay only. It's not going to do Android Auto. This is for CarPlay only. So be aware of that. We're going to turn on the car. I just want to show you how I would normally do the process of just plugging in the phone. And there's my CarPlay wired. Now we're gonna try the CPlay to air. Now before I plug the device in, I'm gonna go through some of the recommended settings. So make sure that your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi is turned on your phone. Make sure your phone is not connected to the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth network in your car. So I am gonna to have to change that. So we're going to go to phone settings. I'm gonna turn Bluetooth off. I'm doing that because it asks to before we plug this in. So hopefully, oh, you see that? It already picked up a bunch of gloss black. Yep. Okay, Bluetooth is off. Now I'm gonna plug in this CPlay 2 Air. I'm gonna switch over to app. Make sure the new CarPlay device. Do you wanna to connect to the CarPlay? Plug in the adapter, wait for the interface to appear on the screen, click the search. It's going to say connect. And now it's searching. Now we're going to probably connect to this Wi-Fi network. Now it needs a password. What's the password for this? 
Okay, you don't want to go to Wi-Fi, you want to go to Bluetooth. Connect via the Bluetooth displayed on the screen. Oh, there it is. It just took a long time, long time to show up under Bluetooth. There we go, wirelessly connected. Now something I always do whenever I'm testing a product is always check for the latest firmware update. So I've done what this is asked. Connect the phone to adapter, go to this internal IP address 192.168.50.2 in your browser and click go. Wait until you see if you have an update available and if it does then accept it. Um, I was surprised that this worked because I am on LTE. I'm, bl I'm Bluetooth connected to this adapter. And yet this did work. You go to this address and it shows me that I'm on the latest version, which is 2021-0306. Check for updates. I'm on the latest version. Looks like there are some settings that you can choose. Sync mode being normal or compatible. You can even roll back the settings. Okay, so we're on the latest version. Now we just have to make sure it actually works. So podcast. It is working. Let's try Siri. Siri, are you working? I am here for you. I mean, really, that's all there is to it. What this allows you to do is to never have to have that loose connection of having it lose your CarPlay when, you, when your wire jiggles. So that's the advantage. The disadvantage is power. So you're gonna run out of power by having it in your phone all the time. It's gonna be connected. Now for troubleshooting sake, I just wanna see what will happen if I try and connect Bluetooth to the car while it's connected to the CarPlay. Go to phone, I'm gonna switch on Bluetooth. It tells me I must disconnect Apple CarPlay first in order to connect a different cell phone. So it knows. You have to disconnect this in order to have it interfaced with the car. There's a bit of a downside there, but if you ever still get a call while you're connected to CarPlay, it's gonna come through. It'll work fine, but it will be coming through CarPlay. Everything else seems pretty good. Let me just uh, make sure that all of this stuff is just as fast, and there seems to be no performance degradation here. I would not know that I was wireless instead of wired. So that's a good thing. Performance seems very good. Okay, so that's wireless CarPlay with the C-Play to Air adapter. If you're looking for a wireless CarPlay solution, this is probably one of your better options. It seems to work perfectly great. It's gonna have firmware updates to latest iOS specifications when needed. So certainly take a look. C-Play to Air, I'll put links in the descriptions if you're interested in a product like this. There is a status light when connected. I'm also going to try the wired pass-through mode and just see what happens. I am still connected to wireless CarPlay. Charging. Disconnected. Connected. Looks like it's switching over to wired mode. I think so. Going to disconnect from CarPlay. We're going to go connect to the phone, connecting to the phone automatically. Now we're going to go back to CarPlay. It won't let me connect because Bluetooth. Oh, there we go. It's trying. Reading USB wired. Alright, now am 
I still connected to my phone? I'm not. It disconnected my phone. Okay, this appears to be a quirk with AirPlay that I've never noticed before because I'm not using the wireless adapter anymore and I'm still hardwired in. It does not connect to the phone Bluetooth unless you disconnect. So it's the same thing. Bluetooth through the car thing is a moot point because as I've just showed, wired or wireless, it makes no difference at all. So it operates the same way when you're connected through CarPlay you're always disconnected Bluetooth from your car. I never even realized that before. Now, as it's running for a little while, it does get a little bit warm, but I don't think heat is a major concern. Now, even with the ignition off, wireless CarPlay is still connected until the internal USB power to supply shuts off, which is usually as soon as I open my driver's door. I'm just gonna tuck this in here. I would just have it tucked in this bin where you don't even notice it anymore. Just tuck it aside, close the lid. Don't even have to worry about that anymore. Okay, so it does auto connect auto all the time. I just got in the car, turned on the ignition, did nothing. It automatically connected in those couple of seconds. One thing I'm noticing is it does seem to use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at the same time. So even though I'm wirelessly connected to my iPhone here, and when I pull in at home, it's it's not using Wi-Fi, but in order for me to connect to my home network, it's gonna tell me that it's gonna disconnect from CarPlay. So we're gonna to connect to my home network. And I just wanna see, does it disconnect? It did disconnect CarPlay as soon as I connected to my home network. Not sure what's up with that. Now let me just see, oh, it just did it again. Oh, look at that. It's very pervasive on wanting to reconnect to CarPlay. Okay. So if you're looking to sit at home on your Wi-Fi and have CarPlay connected, you cannot do that simultaneously. I want to do a fringe test for those with Android. What happens if I plug in a USB-C cable into the CPlay 2 Air? Will it work with Android Auto or do I have to unplug it? So let's see if this is just power or if this passes through data too. And I'm also curious what's going to happen if I am connected through this automatically and I plug in a cable to this to an Android phone. Let's just see what happens. This is not documented. This is a fringe test. Just stuff that I like to do for what if you had a friend that had an Android and you want to plug in. Do you have to unplug this or not? Let's find out. So it picks it up as a USB accessory. Now let's just see here if I go to app. If I disconnect, how do you disconnect? Yeah. If I disconnect from the wireless, now is it going to pick it up as a CarPlay? I don't think so. Oh, Android Auto. It's auto connecting, reading USB. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so that was it. As soon as I unplugged it and I plugged the cable in directly, it automatically came up Samsung Android. So now we can connect to Samsung Android. It's the first time using it on this phone. Okay guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new on here, subscribe. If you want to talk to me, leave a comment down below. And as always, thanks for watching.